The camel racing season's in full swing at the Watba racetrack in Abu Dhabi. It's a centuries-old sport in the Gulf. It's an exciting event and spectators and camel owners dodge each other's cars to follow closely. But there are no jockeys to be seen anywhere. The UAE banned jockeys under 18 in 2005 in response to international pressure. And while there was little faith in the law being successfully enforced, at this race course, one of the main tracks in the country, jockeys haven't been used for two years. Previously, boys as young as six, mainly from Pakistan and also from Sudan, rode camels. Poverty would push parents to send their children abroad to earn a living. It was a miserable existence for the boys. They weren't allowed to eat much to keep their weight down, to make the camels run faster, and they were denied a childhood. Some would fall off and injure themselves or even face death. The camels can reach a speed of 30 kilometers an hour and technology has come to the rescue with robots replacing children. A gadget weighing three kilos driven by a hand drill has taken the child's place. Activated at the touch of a button, the robot jockey has an automatic whip attached to it to make the camels run faster. It's tightly tied to the animal's back so it doesn't fall off. Head of the Camel Race Association, based at the Watba racetrack, Abdullah Mubarak al Muheri, says the robot is a perfect alternative. يعتبر الآلي ناجح في دولة الإمارات وصار له تقبل واسع عند أصحاب الهجن بعد ما تم ترحيل كل الركبية الأطفال إلى دولهم وتدخل اليونسيف في هذا المشكلة ومن مميزات المهمة في موضوع الريبورت. The robot is a couple of hundred dollars, which keeps costs down for camel owners. At the farms attached to the Watba racetrack, once home to child jockeys, all that can be seen now are camels nibbling away on hay. UNICEF has been instrumental in stopping children from being used as jockeys and has since been monitoring progress of the ban. It's helped more than a thousand children return to their families over the past year. A team recently went out to monitor camel farms and took these photos, showing no signs of new child recruits. A big progress have happened, uh, especially in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, most of the children that they were recovered in the farms or brought in by the farm owners were successfully uh, sent back home. And uh, so far we have 97% success rate in terms of uh, uh, getting them with their families. UNICEF is making sure the children get an education and vocational training back home with their families. But while there's a happy ending to the child jockey's story in the UAE, there are concerns that the cruel practice continues in some neighboring Gulf countries.